talk about the game awards because those are coming up too. Uh, I would typically beat you, but Xenoblade is in multiple categories, so that's the only reason I care. Yeah, it's in Game of the Year. Really? Yeah. I actually, I actually signed up and voted, even though I would literally never. I have never voted for the Game Awards ever. But and I was, I was going to vote for who I thought would actually win because Game of the Year is like, um, it's God of War. The new Horizon West for whatever that game is. Mm. Uh, Stray, the cat game. I guess yep. we could talk about this while we're recording, whatever. Yeah. This could be a cold open or some nonsense, I don't know. And then I think Xenoblade was the last one. And wow. I would, oh no, and Elden Ring. Oh, Elden Ring. Yeah, and, and I was sure. like, I was like, I was gonna vote for, you could just think it. I was gonna vote for whoever I thought was gonna win. You know, you mean Elden Ring? Hi, welcome. We're, I was talking about the Game Awards because those are happening, and I guess we're gamers, so we should talk about it. Yeah, I guess. And it just came up. Uh, so I was gonna vote. Open. And this is like in the middle of the conversation too. I don't even know <laughs> if I'll include that other part. I don't know, maybe. Um, but I was gonna vote for whoever I thought was actually gonna win because I was like, I, well, I'm a gamer. I want to win. You know, that's just that's just, that's <laughs> in my nature. Like kind of, but like, and then I was like. So I was gonna vote for Elden Ring because I think I, I genuinely think Elden Ring is gonna win Game of the Year. I, I think it well. deserves to win the Elden uh, Game of the Year. I haven't played God of War, or the other Horizon West. I don't even know if I'm getting Forbidden the name West right. It's something. Horizon West Forbidden. No, it's, it's Horizon it's, Forbidden West. Uh, Horizon Dawn. I, I don't Dawn? know. No, I don't one. know. I played the first one a little <laughs> bit. And I stopped. It's fine. Um, so I, I don't. I've seen God of War Ragnarok played a little bit. It's the new oh, really? one. A little bit, very, very little. I'm sure, it's good. I just, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure they're good games. Um, and then Stray, I don't think Stray should win Game of the Year. No, it's, it's, it was, it was cool. an interesting concept, and it, you know, you play as a cat, but it's, it doesn't have any gameplay to it. It, it doesn't. And I, I think you have to look at for Game of the Year. It's, it's like half. Is, is the game good? And then the other is that is is it how groundbreaking was it to like the masses? Yeah, and I mean maybe it was just because it was part of my algorithm, but like Elden Ring ruled my life like <laughs> social media Like it just ruled my life for like yeah. months way longer than I thought it ever would Oh, really? you know, it's like yeah, I again I probably was on the longer end of that because it was just in my algorithm, you know, it's just a part mm -hmm. of my yeah, the internet knows I want it. Um, so I, I probably saw it longer than I, you know, would have normally. Would have normally, but it, dude, it, it like, it was all over, you know. Yeah. Well, and, you can't forget though that um, it, a lot of times with the Game Awards, it matters when it was released. So Elden Ring might not get as much attention as. Yeah, we think God of War because it just came out like yeah. last week. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how it goes. <laughs> I'm gonna be mad, dude. I I I genuinely Damn, think. He sucks, dude. He misses every Super Sonic, bro. I, I said this last time. Stop! Bro, it's dude. like six times! Dude, it's a 55. But still, he misses it like every time. Yeah, Golbat hardly Go, misses yeah, it Go, at all. Golbat hit it a, a number of times. Except the one time that it mattered. But now he is confused, Ray, so. Yeah. I, mean, I think Elden Ring should win Game of the Year. But to go back to what I was talking about before, I didn't. I, I am too much of a Xenoblade simp because Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is on there for Game of the Year. I can't believe it. I, I had to vote for Xenoblade. I, I literally could not stop myself because I'm I'm, I'm a simp, bro. <laughs> I, I, I think Elden Ring's a better game, but I voted for Xenoblade. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely think so. I get it, but, dude. I get it. And then uh, Xenoblade is also on Best Soundtrack. And I really? actually... That's uh, a double. Uh, yeah, for that, for that category, I believe it should win. I think God of War again was on there. I haven't heard the God of War soundtrack, but probably I, not as good as Xenoblade's. I, I, I just think the Xenoblade soundtrack is more in integral. It's more important to the game. Yes, it absolutely. matters more. And it's just because awesome. Because I can so good. I, I can see very true. I can see points in God of War where there being no music. <laughs> <laughs> and in almost every scene in Xenoblade, there is music to some degree. Yeah, you know, and I think and it's always I, good. I think the horizon game was on. It's the game awards like pretty much every category is like a couple like mainstay games that are like in every fucking category unless yeah. they like genuinely do not fit in the category like none of those games were in like the sim like the simulation games obviously <laughs> but like, you know, 
You did um, simulate being the god of war. That that was a category I just voted for a random game because I didn't <laughs> know I did, I had never played any of them or had never even I think there was one game category that I knew none of the games from. I had like not even heard of any of them. I don't remember which one it was. Uh yeah. The so. racing game category. I, well, I, I I've heard of Gran Turismo, bro, but uh, like yeah. I think I uh I forget which one I voted for for that one. Wow, fake fan. I feel like I, I, hadn't, I hadn't played any <laughs> uh, any of them, but I, I no, I feel like there was something on there that I I would have voted for. I'm racing, Mario. Kart? Yeah, no, and it was it was weird because it didn't. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. But there there is there was a category that like neon white was in that I that was weird. You you you've seen neon white, right? Or I, heard about I it? I think so. I was like into it. I never bought it and played it, but I I want to buy it and play it because it's really cool. It's like a, a game where you have to like speed run. It's like all about Oh, with the speed. cards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a all, all of all of your moves are like it's not racing. I, I'm getting that wrong. It's not that category. Oh. But um it, it was in a lot of categories, Ooh. which is cool to see. It, it was in like indie, which I think I voted for that one for indie, which also Stray was in because it is technically an indie game. Yeah. What do you mean technically? It's like an indie I game. I guess it is, whatever. <laughs> it, it doesn't feel like an indie game because it's it just it's looks nice, popular. I guess. I don't know. Because it looks it's, nice. It's kind of true. It looks like a triple A game. It does. It, but it is an indie game. I'm not discrediting it. It just it just doesn't look like an indie game to yeah. me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was on. Oh man, I maybe I'll pull it up. Yeah. Yeah. And then it, it's it always boils down to like because I, I think I watched the game awards last year. Or I watched someone like rea reacting to it, quote oh. unquote, which Ugh. is the grossest content. But like whatever. The grossest content. It is. Well, they they were. They they knew that they were doing it like they were being gross. Not ironically, but <clears throat> just like they're just like whatever. They were like, my my chat wants to watch this, so and I stream, oh. I stream on this day, so I'm just gonna watch it while I like drink my coffee before my stream, <laughs> and then whatever, and then we'll play video games. Oh. They weren't just doing that. Okay, they're okay. doing it and then going into like gameplay. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, the good shit, the actual shit that I was probably there for in the game awards. I was just like, well. <laughs> I'm here, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, was, it was that, and it always gets to like the the esports categories, e and like since so, if you go on like this the game awards like website and you mm -hmm. like vote, it just takes you through all the categories, and if you don't like leave, it just you just go through all of them until you're done voting. And yeah. I got to the esports ones, and I'm like, I'm just hitting the names that look sound funny. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, I, I know nothing about like the esports, or it was like best esports team, and it was like. Cloud Nine from Valorant or something. It was just like the, the one I picked was the one that played CS:GO because I've played CS:GO. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, this is like my vote doesn't matter, but I'm here, I guess. So yeah. it's like the most, I guess like, I'll vote. most a sham thing ever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The game of the year was oh, game of the year is Elden Ring: A Plague Tale Requiem. Heard of that one? What? Horizon Forbidden West. That's yep. what it was. God of War and Stray and Xenoblade. So I think Elden Ring is going to win, but I voted for Xenoblade. I think it's probably going to be either God of War I think, or Elden I think Ring. it'll be God of War or Elden Ring. I think so, too. Glad to see Xenoblade up there, and I really hope for it sure. wins. For sure. Absolutely. I really, really hope I, it wins. Dude, it would, it would, like... Um, I might be dead. It would mean a lot to me. <laughs> it would mean a lot to me. <laughs> it would mean a lot to me if y'all went and voted for Xenoblade for Game of the Year. Do it now, and I'll give you each a kiss. Everybody yeah. who votes will give Should a kiss. Should I just go through all these? It would be so annoying. We'll what? go through the. Oh, go through the Just go through list? every single category. There's like 30 crazy? categories. No. I'll just go through the. Nobody wants to hear that. I, I just want to find the the ones that I was. Like, if, if God of War won best narrative over Elden Ring, I'd be fine. Uh, yeah. Cause I, I voted for Elden Ring in that one, even though I don't think it should win because the, <laughs> the plot. You're the problem with the game more. I know. I know. I'm aware. I know. But I also know that my vote doesn't really matter. Yeah, because nice. uh, because the plot doesn't matter in Souls games. It's just no. there is like flavor. Uh, so I, I would it would make sense if God of War like Horizon West won that one. You know, it's like whatever. I still vote for Elden Ring because I'm a simp. Because I'm a simp. Uh, yeah. or a simp. Yeah, best score. Oh, I guess El I didn't think Elden Ring was on best score in music, but it is. Hmm. It's okay. I, I've listened. I've listened to the whole Elden Ring soundtrack. It's okay. I like I like the Bloodborne Sorry, soundtrack Paul. more and like the Dark Souls three soundtrack more. Yeah. Um, I mean, you like screaming choirs. Yeah, but yeah, best score is a Plague Tale, which I've 
Again, never heard I of know it. what it is. I've never seen it played. I don't know if the soundtrack is good or not. Elden Ring, God of War, Metal Hellsinger, which is a... Uh, Metal Hellsinger? It's, it's a roguelike where all of your attacking actions have to be played on beat to the music, which is actually pretty cool. Again, the music is very integral to that game, so that would be... Hmm. It's like, it's, it's cool, it's up there. It's yeah. an indie game. Okay. So you have to, like, attack, like, on the beat of the music. It's kind of cool. Have you, have you ever seen Crypt of the Necro Dancer? Yes. It's like that, but your movement isn't tied to uh, the beat either. You can move freely. Oh, it's interesting. Um, you like God, this just shitting episode where we, yeah, where, I mean, we said this last time where we were just like talking, but this is really just like, this is <laughs> just, the Game Awards episode where we ranked about the Game Awards is... <laughs> and Pokemon plays in the background. <laughs> I should just like, I should make, take the audio from the game and make it sound like it's coming from another room. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you're in the room. This is the title of the episode. You're in a room with some guys ranting about the Game Awards while Pokemon plays in a different room. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then Xenoblade, obviously, on the soundtrack, and I voted for Xenoblade. Yeah. Because I think that it, it, out of those games other than Metal Hellsinger, one, the soundtrack is really good, and two, it's like part of the game a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. And not just like flavor. It's got a 10 hour soundtrack. Yeah. It deserves it's like W. All good. Yeah, and it, and it is all a certified hood classic. Yeah. Call of Duty Modern Warfare is on best audio design. Okay, I, I can see that. I guess. Yeah, because like, yeah. like you can make each gun sound realistic and like, yeah. I know, like, I know like the Battlefield games back in the day used to put like a ridiculous amount of effort in like the gun right. sounds and stuff. Yeah. And like, you know, the the design of how it sounds near and, and around you, I could, I could get that. Mm -hmm. I could get that. That sounds like a stupid answer, but I could, I could get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I see it too. And when I, at first when I saw it, I was like, "What?" And I was like, "I mean, I guess, yeah." Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a, a lot of noise going on. <laughs> I had to, I had to vote for fucking Fortnite for best ongoing because oh my it's, lord! I mean, you got you have to you respect have to. the grinding. You have to. Do you that. have to respect the shit that they put into that game. Also, the other games were Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14, and Genshin Impact. <sighs> and I refused to vote for Genshin Impact. I. M might have considered the Final Fantasy one, but I would probably Final Fantasy it. 14 has been going on for a really long time. Yeah, so I I, I guess I could have given him credit there, but also Fortnite again. It's Fortnite, Fortnite has that popularity. It has that yeah. like it has that groundbreaking envelope pushing like shit. Yes. Where Final 14 Final Fantasy 14 has had content updates forever, but like. I also, oh, ever I mean, they did let you play up to a certain level for free, like. A while ago, or whatever. I think they still do that, maybe something uh, like that for Final Fantasy. I heard people trying to like, like the the Jesus preacher at like a college campus <laughs> trying to get people to play. I that's really funny you say that. I was gonna make the comment that I don't think I've ever met anybody who is like Final Fantasy fourteen is fun and you should play it. <laughs> Everybody who talks about that game is like, don't buy this, <laughs> don't play it. It's miserable. Yeah. They're like, this is the worst experience you'll ever have. Yeah. And this is coming from uh, the guy who I heard this from, like, plays exclusively MMOs. <laughs> he loves MMOs. And he's like, this is just, un it's like so bad. Yeah. yeah. Best community support. No Man's Sky is still on there. <laughs> it deserves so, to be on so, there. So I vote, I vote for them every time they're on like, like the best. I think they're on like best ongoing or something like last year, maybe. Really? They're, they're on this like best community support like every fucking year because they, so this, they keep putting out shit for a shitty game. Yeah. Uh, uh, a game that used to be shitty. Yeah. And that had that stigma about it. So even though like Fortnite, all the, basically all of the games that were in best ongoing are in here, except <laughs> No Man's Sky replaces Genshin. <laughs> This is, but I had to vote for No Man's Sky because, like, respect. And they, they I mean, yeah, it's, it's true. fun. It's, yeah, it's, it's fun, and they they fixed it, and everything they put out is free and has been cool. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever been on the uh, the subreddit for them, but yeah. like, there's a huge community of people playing the game right now. Really? Yeah, it's it's I, incredible. I see screenshots friend, all the time. My one friend at work was like playing it like all the time. He was talking to me about it. Really? And I was like, that's crazy, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy, dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, these are really notable. It's a good game. Yeah. It it's like good. Minecraft in space now. It's Minecraft in space! Minecraft! Oh, best role-playing. Minecraft. Uh, I had to <gasps> oh my god! Yes! Finally! Uh, do we have any Pokemon that need to evolve now? Um... I don't think so. Swalot? We have one more. 
Uh, it's strange-ish. Oh, yeah, you're right, but we need the stone for that. We do, yeah. yeah. Which we're about to get, actually. Sort of. Yeah, the next the next area yeah. has it. It looks like Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Rap. I'm dude. not learning rap, but I already offered Drop some to bars, me. dude! Okay, fine. Get it? Because he's going to rap. No, don't do that. No, it bad. sucks. Literally, yeah. <laughs> Over anything else. It offered to learn rap, and then I leveled up, and it was like, now do you want to learn rap? <laughs> Have no. you changed your mind? Yeah. No, I Please. haven't. <gasps> Pick me up! Nice, dude. <laughs> Mine will finally work again. <laughs> I yeah. actually should use an ether on my best best role playing. Who's got that? Uh, Elden Ring, live a live, or live alive. I don't remember. Live alive. Live alive. I don't know. Uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, Triangle Strategy, and Xenoblade. Triangle Obviously, Strategy. I voted for Xenoblade, but yeah. I think Pokemon has a chance. I think Elden Ring should win. Yeah. I think Pokemon has a chance because it's popular. I don't think live a live. It has a chance in hell, but <laughs> I, it's. I've heard about it, and I've I've seen some people who are like, "Yes, this game's great." I think it has a really niche community. Oh, and apparently it's pretty cool. I respect that. It was like one of those really old RPGs that they remastered recently. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know anything um, about it. It's I don't know. And then I don't know. Triangle strategy is cool, I guess. But did you did I you play Triangle Strategy? No. I considered I, playing it. I, I did too, but the, I I didn't because I did the same thing with Octopath and I never beat it. <laughs> <laughs> Where I, I I was like, oh Octopath, and I got it, and I played like a good chunk of it, and then I fell off, and now I'm at the point where I'm like, well, if I gotta go back, I gotta restart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was like, it, it's just got the same vibes. It it seems cool, but it's I, more Fire Emblem y. Yeah, and it, it has cool stuff where you can like shove like enemies with like attacks and like yeah. the map matters more, which is cool. Yeah. Um, so it's cool, but I, again, I think it it's Fun the, the problem that I think Xenoblade falls into as well is that one art people don't like RPGs. Yeah. Uh, apparently, the like ma vast majority of people, if it's not like an action RPG to some degree, like Elden Ring. Or like Pokemon because it just has been a thing for forever. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, obviously, it's the role playing category, so everything in this category has a chance, I guess. Yeah. Um, but I think Triangle Strategy also falls in that category where it's just kind of too niche. Live a live as well, or live alive. Yeah. So I think Alden Ring is just going to win that because it's, again, I think it deserves it because it's a really good game. It's an insanely good. Yeah, game. good RPG, and it just it it uh. Not applies to more people, but you know, it's more accessible to, to people because it's an action RPG. Yeah, although I don't know, we did uh, have that whole thing we were talking about where they like the game is it's super hard and it's fun to shit on normies. True. So I don't know. But I voted for accessible. Xenoblade anyway. Because yeah. <laughs> I was simp. Because I was simp. Yeah. Because because yeah. I it's love Xenoblade. True. Well, best family. Best family games they're oh. all like basically all nintendo games they're like nintendo exclusive I'm, I'm games i'm shocked which i mean like you gotta Elden give Ring. you gotta give nintendo credit where it's due they, they, they do they are under. like the only company putting out like family games yeah. the only game on here that is not a nintendo exclusive game is lego star wars every other one is a nintendo really? exclusive game it's kirby in the forgotten land Mario plus Rabbids, nintendo switch sports and splatoon 3. wow yeah those aren't even like well, I guess they come out this year, maybe. I was gonna say, like, those aren't even, like, my top picks for Nintendo, recent Nintendo games, but, like... Yeah. I was gonna say, what are you talking about? Like, half of these games, like, just came out other than Switch Sports and Kirby. Yeah. But yeah, I've voted, I voted for Kerbo. Kerbo? I haven't played it, but I've seen it played, and it's cool. You didn't even vote for a I game that you a owned. little bit of it. It was cool. Like, the first, like, I like the Kirby games. Intro. I like Kerbo. He's my boy. I love the Kerbster. Yeah. I'm trying to find that one that... Oh no, it was best... No, b Oh yeah, the racing games aren't even good enough to have their own category anymore. It's best sports slash racing. Oh. <laughs> because either there's not enough racing games, or no one cares enough. Well, I was gonna say, like... Or okay. racing is a sport! It's a sport now. It is a sport. Well, it's always Except the one that's in here isn't, like, uh... A sports racing game? Yeah, it's not like With the... Like Sonic the, Racing? Yeah, it, it's Gran Turismo. <laughs> Which, I mean, I guess it probably has, like, racing tracks in it, but isn't there... There's that, like, formula racing game, isn't there? Formula racing game? Yeah. Uh... It has, like, the the little, the, like, not the buggy cars, but, like, the driver, like, sticks. That's not, like, a car. 
It's, it, you ever seen like a Formula One race? Yeah. Yeah. I thought they, they have those games. Whatever. There's a, there's F1 22, which is oh no, there it is. Formula One. I'm stupid. <laughs> I just I, it's just it's it's a single letter in numbers. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Help! I can't figure yeah. it out. FIFA 23. NBA 2K23, Gran Ew. Turismo 7, and then the fucking mix-up Ali Ali World, which is a escape the side-scrolling skateboarding game. Oh yeah, you ever seen that game? No, Ali Ali. That's tight though. Yeah, I voted for that because that's yeah. tight. It's like okay, and I, you... I've I played the original Ali Ali, and it's really fun. Oh really? Yeah, it was on. I think it was either ported on PSP or Vita. Or it was on PSP or Vita, and I played it. Oh, okay. This one. Yeah, nobody wants to play the next version of, like, Madden or NBA or, you know, like, okay, vote between these two, or FIFA. You know, yeah. it's like, which is the best sports game this year? You know, okay. Yeah, and then it, it falls into... Yeah, was he one again? Yeah, that that was the mix-up one, not the one that... Uh, not Neon White. But Neon White is in a lot of uh, categories, which is cool, because I, I don't know. I like that game, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I haven't played it, it's just cool. And then it, it slowly falls into the, uh, like, best content creator, best esports person. Yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, best esports. No, the, the one that, like, gets me is, uh, uh, it's like, you can do, like, esports, uh, athlete. And then esports team, and then esports coach. Is I'm just like, what? I don't know, dude. I don't even know any esports people. Nonetheless, they're coaches. Phase clan. That's pretty yeah, much it. right. Um, There's nothing wrong with that. I just, I just don't watch esports. Yeah, I don't understand why they're in the game awards because they're not. They're gamers, Ben. I know they're gamers, but so am I. Well, they, they have to do best esports game, and then it slowly. You're That's fine. I can talk to Watson. I did. What oh. happens if you switch the generator I off? I wasn't pay paying attention. What, what do you get out of doing that? I don't know. You don't have to do this in Emerald, so I've forgotten. I don't think you have to do it in this game either. Maybe uh, you only have to go beat up Wally. Beat up Wally? He's in front of the gym. No, he's not. I'm lost, dude. This is different. What are you talking about? I think I just have to go to the next gym. Oh, we yeah, never mind. We beat Watson. I'm like, we have to play Watson. I'm like, I'm like thinking we're at gen, like gym three for some reason. Oh. I'm, I'm effed in the head. I've been talking about the game awards. Obviously, You're I'm not paying up, attention. Bro. Go, you gotta go that way. Yeah, just go up. to the next gym. Yeah. Then you can go to New Mauville if you want, because we have Surf. Yeah, but he asked me to turn the generator off. I think he gives you Thunderbolt. Oh, I don't care about that. Yeah. I don't know if any of our Pokemon could learn it. We already have Shockwave, so. Yeah. All right. Now that I got this good rod, let's continue this next time. Yeah. We won't talk about the Game Awards for the entire episode. Yeah. What do you, what do you think about the Game Awards, huh? They're hosting them right now. <gasps> I'm We're live on TV! We're live in the middle of fucking nowhere. The, the, the Game fuck. Awards. It's Jeff Keighley. <laughs> that's the that's the guy who does the Game Awards. His name is Jeff Keighley. Jeff Keighley. Yeah. And y'all go, God damn it, Jeff, or gosh dang it, Jeff. Oh, that's so funny and quirky. Yeah, yeah they all... Call him by his first name because he's cool like that, I guess. He's cool. What are yeah. they going to call him, Mr. Key? Do you want to come on the show, Jeff? It's You can come on anytime. Show you, you. Never mind. So, I know, it's, you're a little low for us, but, you know, yeah. we'll have you on. All right, bye. Little guy. Yeah. <laughs> Tiny guy. Stop. Come on. Don't bring up his height. He's very, very, you know. It's not cool, dude. It's, 